I'm back again finally with another tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how I engrave animals on a two inch keychain animals yes and I haven't tried um, images yet as far as uh, people or like other images like cartoons or just any other thing birds you know but I have been doing a lot of dogs so I'm gonna show you my process um the first thing you want to do is get your photo I'm going to be using a picture of this dog isn't he so cute it is my co-workers dog um, his name is diesel so but I do need to get rid of this background here so how I did that was I went to Safari here and in the search bar I'm going to type remove it's remove.bg okay all right so we're gonna go there and then I'm going to drag my image in there and it's going to just remove the background okay then you're gonna download your picture I've already did it the next step into prepping your photo for the engraving is you're going to go to SVG pick okay this is going to turn it and convert it into an SVG all right so now we're going to upload that image so I'm going to go to recent and we're going to get the one that has no background okay and then we're going to go scroll down and it's going to be here now the filter right up here where it says filter I'm going to choose invert 4 okay because it gives the dog more shadow alright and then you're going to download that SVG these links will be in the description for easy access you are done prepping your photo now all right now we're gonna open up Cricut design space the first thing I'm going to have a link for it in the description is you're going to grab the engraving fill pattern okay once you have that you're gonna put that to the side and now you're going to open up shapes and get you a round circle it's going to come out as two inches you're going to leave that the same and you're going to change that background color to white okay you're going to put that to the side now we are going to bring in our image it's here somewhere so there he is right there we're gonna add him to the canvas all right now he's going to oh we're gonna bring this over here bring our fill pattern to the front now he's going to come in at a whole bunch of different pieces we're going to attach him together and we're going to weld him okay now we're going to turn him a different color and there's a reason why I did that so let's make him a little smaller and we're going to right click first of all I'm gonna bring oh never mind we don't have to do that oh yes we do so take the back image there we go okay so we didn't have to send it to the back or anything so he's there now we're going to highlight it all and we're going to slice we're going to give Cricut a few minutes to catch up with itself to slice the image because it is a lot of bits and pieces um any minute now give it a few minutes all right there we go so now it has sliced the dog out so we're going to get rid of that you should get two pieces put that to the side the piece that we want to keep is that i'm going to keep is the black one erase that one all right, so he is done. See how it made it look? It's a whole bunch of different lines. That's your engraving. Then we're gonna click the image and we're gonna turn him into engrave, okay? 
and we're going to make him a little smaller and we're going to place him on top of the circle wherever you want to put your image okay now remember on your keychain there is a little circle up in here somewhere so you don't want to put your image too high because when it starts to engrave it might engrave inside the little opening up there so I think I like him right here because I'm going to put some text now you can put anything you want any other images that you want to put up there um, just make sure if you do get a shape like a heart or a cross or anything you come over here you make sure it's all attached you come over here and you snip it out of here out of this um, engraving pattern and then you put it over here okay and make sure after you do that you go up to operations on your image and you turn it into engrave okay so I'm gonna do a text and I'm just gonna do a random text and I'm just gonna say Rocco okay that this is not the dog's name but I'm just gonna say that so I'm gonna keep this font Cricut Sans <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> but you can use any font you want I recommend using the font that is like boxy shaped okay not anything like that but it's up to you whatever works okay so these letters are kinda spaced out so I'm gonna go right up here to letter space and I'm gonna press the down arrow just to squeeze them in just a little bit yeah that's totally fine right there so I'm gonna also change the color to red and bring it over here but I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to well first of all before I do that I'm going to attach and weld those that text together okay and then I'm going to slice it out of the engraving fill pattern. Give it a few minutes again to, there we go. All right, you see how it started putting these little lines in there? Just ignore that, you don't need that anymore. So you should get two patterns here. One is red, which you don't need, and you got this one, okay? See how you have all these lines? That's what it's going to engrave. And it's going to be so much better, in my opinion. So you're going to size up your text into however you want it. You place it however you want it. See, I'm going to make the dog just a little bit smaller. Bring him down just like that. And remember to go up to operations on your text or your other images and hit engrave. And now if you have it placed the way you want it, you're going to highlight it all and you're going to press attach. So now it's attached. Oh, you know what? Rewind. So detached. Click on your circle. Okay. And turn that into pen. Okay now highlight it all and click attach you don't have to weld it just attach and I'm going to place the keychain on my mat at two and three okay that's where I'm going to be placing it some people I've seen place it directly in the center of the mat but I'm not going to do that I'm going to put it right here between two and three okay so now I'm going to go to make it and here you also want to place it between two and three and you want to definitely check and make sure your four corners are touching see that one two three four alright and make sure it says pen and then engrave you do not have to load your pen in at all okay it's just going to make a circle because it's going to think that we're just tricking it a little bit okay but don't load your pen in. At this time you want to do and load load your um, engraving tool in. Press continue. Now we're going to set the uh, material. I find that leather works good, tooling leather, so you can choose um, whichever one you want, but tooling, 
Tool and leather seems to work pretty well with this technique. So now I'm going to show you um, how I load the uh, keychain on my strong grip mat. So this is what I did on my mat. I put it between two and three and I secured it tape on each side. And I did put some here. You can see that it is on the edge because I want to make sure it doesn't move. But my image should cut around this. But even if it cuts on the tape, it, it really doesn't matter. It, it will cut through it. And once you peel it off, you'll still see your image. It won't mess it up at all. Here is my maker. So I am ready to load the mat. And it, here is the white things that I was talking about. I moved them all the way over. And you're going to put your engraving tool in there. And no pen. No pen in here. See, I have no pen in your engraving tool. Okay. So we're going to load. All right. And I'm going to speed up the rest of the process. Is the image finished? Sure. It came out. You just wipe it a little bit, or you can use like a tape roller to get all the dust off. But that's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments if you would like me to do anything else. Thank you, and hope you subscribe and like this video. Have a good night.